Four years ago, a shop like this would have been illegal, since ready-made garments, especially designer clothes, were not allowed into Egypt. Most clothing in Egypt, the imported, was kind of smuggled in. They, I don't know how they used to get it in, or just in bags and, and, and something like that. The Egyptian government changed the law in 2004 by starting a program of economic liberalization, including cuts in personal and business taxes, as well as a reduction in tariffs and customs duties. The impact on the retail industry has been an increase in sales from $35 billion in 2003 to $42.6 billion in 2006. As a result, international designers have begun to view Egypt as a viable market. There is a lot of wealth that is being created, uh, that has been created during the past couple of years. Of course, only a tiny fraction of the Egyptian population is able to shop in Bayman. But the changes in retail have had an impact across whole sectors of society. The first metro supermarket opened in 1998. 37 more have been added since then across the whole country. When we first started out with Metro, there wasn't really any uh, organized retail or modern trade, so, so to speak. So uh, there, was also, there was just a set of you know, uh, uh, traditional grocers. The company also used the Metro model to start a chain of cheaper discount stores called Kir Zaman to serve as the C and D demographic, people whose average wage is only around $150 a month. Two years ago, we decided to, you know, if we were to make a serious impact on the market, the Egyptian market, we had to also address the uh, C&D customers, which uh, form almost 90% of the total market. The Metro Group had an annual turnover of $217 million in 2007, up 50% from 2006. But still, the company feels there's a lot of room for growth. According to the government statistics, the, the Egyptians spent last year almost 200 billion pounds on, uh, on food and drink of which organized retail represents only 5% at 10 billion. So there is tremendous potential. Another factor that's had a big impact on the retail sector was the opening in 2004 of the country's first shopping mall. It's no exaggeration to say that the arrival of city stars changed the way the middle and upper class shopped in Cairo. When it opened, no one had seen its like in Egypt before. And from the very start, it was an instant success. We opened 100 and 15 shops, you know, and it become, you know, every time by time we open shops and shops and shops. Uh, the first impression, it was really uh, amazing, you know, they like it very much. Two million people now visit City Stars every year. Another major societal change has been Egypt's embrace of the upmarket coffee shop. The most popular is Cilantro. Founded in 2000, it now has 1,100 employees. 54 outlets and a current turnover of $13.5 million. A lot of our customers take cilantro as their offices and they have their meetings and, 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 and we offer them fax services, free, you know, photocopying, whatever. So actually I'm offering them maybe a solution for uh, some of the financial problems that they might be facing. The government predicts GDP growth will fall by about 2% next year to stand around 5% which is bound to have at least some impact on the country's retail market. Yet companies such as Metro believe they are prepared. In economic hard times, we move down the ladder. The trick uh, for us is that we, we have to have that ladder. And that was one other reason for having the uh, discount. Is uh, Long term, it serves as a cushion. Yani, okay, we're going to be facing hard times. So there is a world recession. Uh, but today we have that cushion, which is the discount store. The government is also taking steps to make it easier to start a retail business by setting up a one-stop shop to grant trade licenses. They will gather all together uh, the competent authorities uh, dealing with giving license to these stores. Of course it will give uh, great ease for all stores to get all the licenses from the same place. Still, there's no question that the global slowdown will have an impact on the Egyptian retail market. The only issue is, is how much and how well the sector copes. We'll know more during the first few months of the new year.